I have literally been waiting months for this box to show up in the mail. Um, it is from JB Custom Fabrication, and this is one of those things where I never thought something like this would happen to my little channel because I'm just one of those nobodies. But um, I was sent this box. I'm excited to see what's in it. So we'll open it up here, and um, I, I, I'm honestly. I, I'm mind blown that, that this actually came in the mail. Uh, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just mind blown. So hang tight. Welcome back to uh, Ten Foot Customs. Uh, this is a video that I honestly never thought would happen. Um, this is my first sponsored video, and that's insane. Honestly, um, I'm I'm completely shocked. Um, this video is sponsored by JB Custom Fabrication. If you are unfamiliar with JB Custom Fabrication, let me show you what they what they do. So if you're not familiar with JB Custom Fabrication, they are a U.S. company. They do mostly um, transfer case stuff, uh, twin sticks, and um, twin sticks for all, all, all your, your major brands, uh, GM, Ford, Jeep, uh, you, I guess your main off-road brands. Uh, they also do um, cable shift kits, so if you wanted to mount your um shifter somewhere that wasn't a, a factory location you could you could still do that i got up to a, a triple stick uh they do the shift boots for all the products that they make shift rails and they have which shift rails are obviously what was most important to me they've got transfer case rebuild kits they have the billet knobs they have some other knobs and they have looks like build kits with, with heim joints um I just ordered myself a t-shirt because, well, I wanted one, so actually I ordered that t-shirt and it should be coming in the mail here very shortly. Um, also really cool on here is you can go to the art articles page here and read a whole bunch of articles on um, John, the owner, um, and builds he's done and things he's made for other vehicles. Um, it's some really good reading in here. Uh, actually, I, I have read all the articles because I, I found them very interesting. Um, he is mostly a Bronco guy, so most of everything you're going to pretty much see about him is Bronco stuff, but um, he obviously makes things for, for, for everything. I, I can't say enough about John um, and, and his customer service. Uh, I, every time I've messaged him, I've gotten a response probably within, I don't know, it was probably within a half hour or so. I don't think any time... I not even I got a response on a Saturday once which I thought was kind of insane so check him out and uh, give a, 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 a made in the USA company some some support um, yeah and we'll, we'll, we'll go back out here to the video welcome back to the garage so for you vintage Jeep guys and, and probably other people because I know this is a pretty uh, stout transfer case this is a Dana 300 this sits behind Rusty's 258 straight six, and then I have a T5, and then my Dana 300. I had a plan of going through this to get it, just to make sure it was sealed up and, and replace seals and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So let me take a step back here. First off, I, I know a lot of people will hear me in my video say that that's not how the video did it. That's not how it worked in the video. 
And uh, I have no qualms about saying that I do watch a lot of research videos or do a lot of research before I do anything I do. I am very, very competent as far as just taking things apart and putting them back together. That's just something that I, I've always had a knack for. But if there's information out there that can help me do a video or make a video better or I think they skipped a step that would have been helpful, I will definitely try to watch other videos and, and, and see where they are. Um, and that's the case when it comes to like this transfer case and my transmission. I did not dig into my transmission very far. I did replace a couple pieces that um, I thought could use a replace. There was a clip that broke that I had to replace and I replaced a couple odds and ends, but nothing crazy. I did not dig into my transmission nearly as, as much as, as some people would. And it, it's the, the same with this. I've been watching another YouTuber as he does a complete rebuild on a Dana 300. And I will say, this is not my wheelhouse of knowledge and I will leave it up to him. So I will post the videos of the ones that I'm watching on the rebuild um, in the uh, comments section. So if you wanna see a rebuild, that's the guy who do it. He's done, it sounds like hundreds of them and he knows these things like the back of his hand. And I would definitely, you know, steer you that way. Where was I going with that? Oh, I don't remember where I was going with that. So with all that, I will say that this is the bare basics of a transfer case rebuild. It's just doing the three main seals. But again, as we all know, when you're doing a project like this, things tend to snowball. When I'd gotten into it, I realized that these two shift rails, um, the seals were leaking on the shift rails. And when I'm lying, they're available, not a big deal. So I ordered them and since then I've lost them, but this has been sitting out for months. I know they're in the garage somewhere. The problem is though, even though the, the seals were bad, what I found out on these rails, these OEM rails, and again, these rails are just shy of 40 years old. It could be 40 years old this year. Because these transfer cases seem to sit in two wheel high most of their life, and these rails are set, sat in that position, moisture and stuff build up right on the seal and start to pit the shift rail. And these are pitted, you know, I, 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 sent, I posted some of these pictures on, on some of the forums and these guys were like, ah, just run it, it's fine. There's not that much pressure built up in it. And I agree, there's not. But I'm doing all this work. I thought I might as well try to seal them up. So went in line to order up new rails. Guess what? One of the rails is obsolete. 100%, you cannot even find it on a website. It doesn't exist. The other rail, half the websites have it as back ordered, and the other half of the uh, websites have it as uh, you, that you can, you can buy. It. So on the half that's that you can buy, I'm like, sweet, they've got it in stock. I'll order it. I ordered from, I think, three websites, not consecutively, but I you know, ordered from one, then the day said no, ordered from another. They all came back with that it is indefinitely backordered, which means it doesn't exist either. Um, I'm sure someone could find one here or there, but I have a feeling you're not going to find them in much better condition unless you can find a new OEM uh, uh, rail. So, called some welding places, uh, places that do machine work, and was going to have them grind out this area, weld it back in, and then mill it down. That is not easy to come by, at least in my area, someone who will do that. Um, actually, I couldn't find anybody who would say that they would do it especially not for just two, two rails. Uh, the other option I had, I was something I could do myself, was to powder coat them, and then just put, uh, chuck them in a drill and sand them with some like, I don't know, six, 700 grit till they were smooth again. And just accept the fact that in a few years, I would probably have to redo it again. That wasn't like my number, I didn't want to do it just because this transfer case is not super easy to get out from the Jeep. 
you have to drop the skid plate or just remove the transfer case altogether. And you know, then you got you know way more work than just probably doing it right the first time. My uh, third and final option was to go twin stick. And I didn't like that idea just because, again, 90% of the time this is going to be mall wheel drive. So I, 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 it wasn't the look I was going for. But what I didn't realize is when you buy his twin stick kit, you use your stock rails. And so that kind of shot that out of the water. I'm like, well, that doesn't work for me. My, that's what I'm trying to replace. So I, I, I shot him an email, hoping that maybe he had some floating around at his shop. But I figured if this is what he does, maybe he's got some rails. So he responded to the, in his email back to me that coincidentally, he was working on shift rails and doing R&D and, and, and making shift rails for a Dana 300 and he was just in the beginning stages of it and I was like that's awesome so he said get back to me in a couple weeks and and and, and see you see where I'm at so I think it was like three weeks or so that I got back to, to John at, at JV Custom Fab I'm like where are we at now do you actually have a product and he said we do have a product it is going out to get the first test set of rails done cool I mean, that, that gives you something to, to, to hope for. So I said, that's great. I'll be in contact. I'll, I'll, I'll message you later. At some point, um, I think a month or so, I thought maybe maybe a couple of, three weeks, a month after that, I got the courage up to go, John, what are the chances that I could get the first set of rails, first set of production rails that you produce? thinking to myself, what are the chances that I'm the first person to put an order in for these things? I mean, uh, JB Custom Fab is a well-known company. Um, he's been published like, like you've seen. I am not the first person to be asking to for asking for, for these rails. He gets back to me and says, absolutely. I will send you the first set of production rails. And that is what I have here. And that is, is amazing. I mean, the first set of production hardened 17.4 stainless steel rails. I mean, it, 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 it's insane to it's insane to be holding these honestly because you know I almost don't want to put them in. Like I want to hang these ones on the wall. Like this is the first set, and I'll go buy another set to 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 put it into, into, the, into the Jeep. But a little bit of information about these. So when I went to go find these online, these rails, the OEM rails, they were running about $47 up to, I think just shy of $60 per rail. These brand new rails that are, again, hardened stainless are running $95 a pair, um, at least at, at the time of this video. Um, I don't think they're on the website yet. Uh, last time I checked, they weren't. Um, they are part number SR300STK. Uh, I'll also put that down in, in, the, in, the, in the description as well. <clears throat> they are sold as pairs only. You cannot just order one rail. And they are sold as rails only. So if you need the seals, you can get them from JB Custom Fab. They do sell them. They sell, you know, as, we shown, as, as we showed, they sell um, gasket sets and seals. And so you can get all that from him. But that is all. that would be purchased separately from the rails. They say that these are also made in the USA, which that is something to be proud of, to be able to say that you, you know, bought products made in the USA um, from a company that is based out of Oregon. Uh, it, it's just really cool. So, so just a, a, a quick recap and, and to make a, a long story short. And to make a long story short, too late! Amazing set of shift rails that will be going into the transfer case that you know is going to be part of, of, of this build series. I know I'm kind of behind on the uh, rusty build. Um, I've been doing a lot of fiberglass work, and fiberglass work is boring and itchy. Uh, but I will be doing. I will probably be doing a video while I reassemble this, but it won't be a build video. It'll just be I'm trying to put this back together, and then seeing me made it to the transmission, and probably getting it put onto the skid plate. So that. That will probably all be videoed in a, in a, in a 
soon to be video, hopefully, um, once I find my seals. Um, I still don't have an engine. The machine shop still has it. I, it who knows when I'm going to get that back. But, uh, yeah, um, if you need shift rails, JB Custom Fabrication, they are a great price, and they look, I mean, again, I, I, I almost don't want to put them in this, and I will order another set and have this set to be hung on the wall forever. Thank you, John, for uh, sponsoring uh, my little YouTube channel. Um, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. This is going to be one of the crowning jewels of my Jeep, and it's going to be hidden forever, and no one will ever see it. And But I will have the story, and I know I've told my boys, my, my boys obviously know the story, because you know I've been talking about it to everybody I can. And they'll always have this story to tell and pass on down to their, their, their kids, hopefully my grandkids when they have them. And they're just one of those things um, that, that I have. So thank you very much. Thank all of you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you next week. First off, we have a uh, uh, bottle opener. It is uh, that's JB Custom Fabrication bottle opener. It's really cool, and it says uh, "Cheers from John and Rhonda." Um, it's very cool too. It's I, I don't know, it, it, it's just cool. The whole thing's just cool. I don't worry about that. This is awesome, and this will be going hang up in my garage. And the, the video that I'll be posting with this stuff, um, yeah, this is just awesome. Now the exciting stuff. These are the first set. And like, not like, oh, this first set, like, whatever. Literally, these are the first production set, set sent out of stainless steel hardened shift rails for a Dana 300. Um, I've been talking with John from JV for, I don't know, it's been probably three months or so, two months, three months, um, right when he was starting to do the uh, R and D, and um, these things are gorgeous. They are just amazing looking. I can already tell that these are they're, they're going to be perfect. So uh, I, I I'm just I'm just mind blown. So you'll be seeing this in the video that's going to follow this intro. These brand new shift shafts going in. I'm I'm just super excited. So hang tight.